What's up YouTube? I've got a couple things that I wanted to show you today. I haven't done a video in a while. It's kind of a cold rainy day here in Indiana. Uh, so I'm in my car on my lunch break. I'm going to do a, a, a quick video to show you uh, a secret menu that you can access if your car has the EVIC system or Electronic Vehicle Information Center. I think that's what it's called, but I did not look it up, so maybe I'm wrong. Uh, this is something that you'd see on these cars if they were an SXT or above, so the SXTs, RTs, SRT8s. I think sometimes on the, the Chargers, the Magnums, and the 300s, if it was a base model, they wouldn't have this. Uh, but there's a way you can get to that menu. It's kind of a, an Easter egg in these cars, if you will. Uh, you can, can find out about it on the forums and everything, but uh, I want to show you on here since I've, I've got a channel about these cars. And then I also want to show you a trick that you can use in these cars to access information about the codes that might be causing a check engine light. You can actually get the codes thrown right up on your, your gauge cluster without having to connect uh, a sensor uh, or go to the dealership. So we're going to get into that as well. So stay tuned. All right, to access the EVIC menu on this 2005 Dodge Magnum RT, you're going to hit the compass button and this media button right here at the same time and hold them for about three or four seconds and it'll bring up the menu. I'll show you that in a minute. It's a two-hand job. Otherwise, I would show you uh, in this screen. But let's check it out. Okay, I'm just going to hit both these buttons at the same time. And we'll see if we can get the get footage of this changing over too. All right, here we can see that we're in the EVIC menu now. Uh, this first screen here, digital speed readout with RPMs, engine temperature, battery, got temperature average, temperature raw, uh, oil pressure, pedal position, which is nice. Some other diagnostic information here that I haven't used very much. Your last chime, which I think I have something wrong with the airbag sensor in my passenger seat that turns the airbag on and off depending on the weight of the passenger in that seat. So that was my last chime. Actual oil pressure gauge. Digital speedometer, software version information, and then you're back to the beginning there. Now, some of the newer models actually have a 0 to 60 timer and some other high performance parts that go along with it. Mine does not. This is the first year for these cars, so the secret menu only has uh, what it does, it doesn't have the, the performance stuff. So. Now I'm going to show you something else. So the first thing you're going to do, turn the key to the on position. And then you're going to take it back to the accessory, back to on, back to the accessory, and back to on. And again. Okay, you can see that the OBD codes are showing on the dash cluster here. There's several on my car, so it might take a few seconds. I think I've got four or five. And this will give you all the codes that are making your check engine light come on. And you can look them up on the internet, find out what might be causing them. And then when it's finished, it'll say done.